Guys, don't mess with her. I mean, come on. <laughs> Look at her. Welcome back to Vlogmas. I'm so happy that you guys are here with me today, spending some of your day with all of my day. Uh, it is going to be a very Christmas day today. I already have the fire going um, because we're nearing the holiday and we decided today we would have one of our friends over for Christmas activities. We're going to build Santa's village finally and make treats and watch uh, movies and you know just try to celebrate a little bit um, in between all of her hard work. So um, Thought it would be fun if you guys helped me bake or at least came along for this baking experience. I can hear her snoring, but her eyes are open. Are you sleeping on the job, bro? One of you asked me if I would do some sort of like a gluten free baking situation, and duh. Actually, not duh. I'm a terrible cook, I'm a terrible baker, I'm just not great in the kitchen, generally speaking. But a friend of mine gifted us this like soft pretzel mix situation that's gluten-free so I thought it would be fun to try that um so let's do that and see how we do and see what other trouble we can get ourselves into because <laughs> it's vlogmas <laughs> we get crazy here I literally haven't left the house in like three days it's wild you're working hard you're still on the clock you're working hard just making sure nobody enters the bed without approval. Thank you for your work and your service. Hi, welcome to my kitchen. My eye has been twitching nonstop for the last couple of days. Uh, I think that means I'm either stressed, I've had too much coffee, I haven't had enough water, or I haven't slept enough. All of which I am not gonna do anything about. Um, I'm going to make myself an afternoon coffee, which is my favorite thing to do. But before that, I feel like we should preheat the oven and I should introduce you to what we're making today. My intention was to do like a drunk kitchen, but it's three o'clock. I'm gonna do a caffeinated kitchen. This is what we're making. Soft pretzels with sea salt. Oh my gosh, I love soft pretzels. I ate so many of those before I realized the reason why I constantly had stomach aches was because of gluten. General instructions, uh, preheat the oven to 450. I could do that. I'm a genius. Well, now that that's done, oh, it's time for coffee break. Why do they put the packets inside of the powder? Stupid. I changed the angle of the camera, so. Warm milk in microwave or a milk substitute. We're going oat milk. Heated up oat milk. No, real talk, I wish I was like, found joy in this and uh, was good at it. I'm just not. Hey, that's not nice. But it's true. Let's heat this up. In the meantime, it's telling me to pour this all into a medium bowl. Is this a medium bowl? It is now. Oh my God, it's crazy rainy outside. And then it says to put the yeast in. Pour into a medium bowl and add yeast packet. Pour yeast is disturbing. Yeast. Let's sit for about five minutes until yeast dissolves. See how you do, Easter. Ew. Bye, Easty. That's what she said after she took her dive flu can. You know what I mean? Did I already mess this up? Oh my God, I'm an idiot. I'm an actual idiot. You were supposed to put the milk and the yeast together. I'm just gonna put it all together. Ugh. Oh well, you know what I mean? Literally don't even have a spoon to blend this with. We're doing great. It would appear the yeast is still there. We're doing it. Oh, I think it's kind of working. Literally, how does Hannah Hart do this drunk? I can't even do this sober. Different people are good at different things. Two tablespoons of butter or butter substitute. This is vegan butter. Let me double check that. Tablespoons. Tablespoons, yeah. One. By the way, I'm acting like this is rocket science. I'm not even making this from scratch. I'm acknowledging that I'm an actual idiot. This looks good. My hand hurts. So on floured surface, handle dough until dough is workable and is able to be rolled out. I don't even have a rolling pin. This is terrible. Here comes Santa Claus, here comes Santa Claus. That's a moment. This is horrifying. What did it say to do? I think I'll just do little pretzels. This isn't working. This isn't right. Oh, oh wait, that's not bad. Dude, this is like Wetzel's pretzel action right here. I'm brilliant. Jeff's at the grocery store, so I want him to come home to these beautiful pretzels. <laughs> what do you guys think? 
in a shallow baking dish, dissolve baking soda in hot water. Seeing if you're still there. I think I'm a baker now. They straight up look like little penises. When I dip, you dip, we dip. Hot. This is not right, right? Should I apply for Russell's pretzels? Legit just saw a hair on one of these, great. Bet you guys didn't know I was so dumb. <laughs> All right, this looks like shit. What do you guys think? 10 to 12 minutes. Oh, heck yeah, okay. Oh, they're sliding all over the damn place. In the meantime, I feel like maybe um, I should attempt to make like one pretzel. We should have really done this with Jeff because he's actually good at stuff. I am not going to be the kind of mom that bakes for the bake sale. Maybe I'll just make one long dong. Y'all, I know that they look weird, but honestly, I think they look kind of good. Like, I flipped them over because they're browning, but I'm gonna pop some salt in there and they're gonna be ready soon. Ooh! Listen, I'd hate for anyone to, you know, feel bad. I always want to be an inclusive place um, and I want people to feel empowered, but if I'm being completely honest, I am the greatest baker of all time, so you're just gonna have to deal with that. Look at these. Would you look at these? I think that they're done. That's never a good thing to say. Oh, Jimmy. I like them. They might not look good, but they do actually taste pretty good. I like have a stomachache already. But here's the real moment of truth. It's gonna make one long turd, but now I'm thinking, how about like a beautiful round thing? Wait, is that a pretzel? Is that how you do it? How about a heart? That's cute. I'm a genius. Grand finale. Let's check it out. Oh my God, look how cute it is. It's kind of cute. It's like, don't think it's actually cooked. We'll wait and see Jeff's reaction. Did you smell something upon your arrival? Yes. What did you smell? A bag of gluten-free pretzels that has been transformed into what I can only describe as a Lisa Schwartz cooking production. Are you ready you know, to try? You shapes you were able to. <laughs> You know me so well. I guarantee these brilliant knots have turned into Schwartz blobs. How do you know it so well? I married you. Oh, you sweet baby. Okay. Well, I have to reveal the pretzels? Oh, they, they've they seen it. This is your surprise. Surprise! <laughs> it's pretzel blobs! Oh, is that a heart? Yeah. Oh. I was going to make a poop or, <laughs> or a dick. They look kind of good. Try one. And also, it does look like a poop. Try one. Do what do you dip them with? You put a little cheeser dip. You can dip with the whatever you want. I'm gonna go cheese pretzels. I haven't not tried the always hard... the most popular pretzels, but I'm gonna take a cheese pretzel. Oh, maybe not cooked. Okay. Just like pizza dough. It's pretty good, huh? I gotta say, I really messed up the instructions, but I think I turned it out okay. Not bad. Ooh, try that one. No, it definitely looks like a turd. Try the turd. Yeah, it's a lot salty. Sorry. Okay. Too salty? I'm up. I'm up for this. Hell yeah. Jeff, did I do okay? Better than you pre thought? We made pretzel blobs. I really tried to make like an actual pretzel. It was hard. No, it's great. Pretzel bites. You guys, I'm an expert. I'm an actual baker extraordinaire. Wow, we should do this more often, don't you think? Let me know what you want me to bake next. I'm sorry, just wanted to pop on for a moment. It's the end of the night, getting ready to go to bed. But um, I just would like to say that those pretzels were dominated, okay? There's no more pretzels to be had. Everyone ate them, everyone loved them. And the moral of the story here is, no matter how dumb you are, Ooh, you can always make a gluten-free pretzel. You just came in on the most important part, which was like the lesson of the story here, which was like, even if you're really dumb and you don't think you're good at something, your pretzels still might be amazing. Cause I was really dumb and I really messed them up, but boy. They're all gone. Num nums. <laughs> Num nums. My eyes still twitching. Good night, see you guys tomorrow.